Google says that 7% of your body weight is made out of blood. And also that if you have a million two hundred thousand mosquitoes taking a bite out of your body at the same time, they will drain your body out of all your blood. I pray this will never happen to you. <laughs> blood is a very vital part of our body. Without it, our body cannot function. Without blood, your physical body cannot properly function. Blood has a lot of functions in the body. For example, one of the first functions the body, uh, it has in the body is it, it collects carbon dioxide, ammonia, and other waste from our body. It transports nutrients to our body. It also carries hormones to our body. So some of you who have hormone imbalance, you just need blood transfusion. And all of it will go away. Blood also carries oxygen to your body. Blood also is in your body to maintain balance in fluids. Blood in your body has a function also to fight microorganisms that come and attack your body. Basically, without blood, your body will have no life. It will still have the bones. It will still have the structure. It will still have the features, but it will not have life. That's why the Bible says that life is in the blood. It doesn't say life is in your skin. It doesn't say life is in your brains. It doesn't say life is in your muscles. It doesn't say life is in your bones. It says life is in the blood. That means if you remove the blood, you can still have the body, but no life. Body cannot function without blood. If our physical body cannot function without blood, the body of Jesus Christ, which is the church, cannot function without the blood of Jesus Christ. We can still have a structure. We can still have principles. We can still have organization. We can still have management and we can still have good morals. We can still have great families, but one thing that will be missing when the blood is missing, and that is life. Because life does not come from organization. Life comes from the blood. And when you drain the body out of the blood, you will still have a body, but it will be a corpse, not a body. And the vital part of a Christian life and the vital part of a church in the 21st century is the same vital part that was of the church in the first century. is the blood of Jesus Christ. That's why Paul says that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God to those who believe. Can somebody say amen?